I am very excited about our Innovation Pathways program here at Gardner High School. We have four designated pathways. We have business and finance, healthcare, information technology, and manufacturing. So how those pathways work are students start in 8th, 9th, and into 10th grade doing exploratory classes here at the high school in their chosen area of interest. They get to sample some different classes. And then as they get up into 10th, 11th, and 12th grade, they have some options. And if they want to stay in one of those pathways, they're able to do it a couple of different ways. They can stay here at the high school where they have access to at least two college level courses and at least two courses that will give them some sort of a credential in their chosen path. Or if they want to expand upon that a little bit more, they're able to transition into our early college program at which time they go to the college and they're able to take additional courses in their chosen path. So this really gives students multiple options in multiple pathways depending on their comfort level and how much they want to pursue. But regardless, if they're in a pathway, they graduate from Gardner High School with at least two college level courses. If they go to the college, it could be between a year and two years worth of college level courses and industry recognized credentials regardless of their chosen field. So they've got a resume built, some college classes and hands-on experience that they have when they graduate. So we're very excited about these options for our students. In the manufacturing pathway at Gardner High School, we have eighth grade STEM. From there, freshmen and sophomores can take tech engineering, robotics one, or woodworking one. From 11th to 12th, we have MACWIC, which also has OSHA 10 certification, advanced robotics, uh, advanced woodworking, and makerspace. In all our classes, we're utilizing the engineering design process to solve tasks and problems. We solve problems teaching energy and power systems, manufacturing technologies, and tools and equipment. Students are very excited to come in here. They see the machines, they get their hands on uh, their tools, and they, they get to build something that they get to take home, and they get to see real world applications. The skills they learn here, they use on their industry jobs, so it's a very, very real world thing for them to, to experience. So in the manufacturing pathway, we have a MacWick class that offers three uh, certifications. Level one certification is entry level information that you would find on uh, the manufacturing floor. So they'd have basic shop math, metrology using uh, measurement instruments, and blueprint reading. Um, they also have a component of safety. So the safety would be OSHA 10. OSHA 10 is a certification course that is in general industry manufacturing. That is the biggest emphasis is OSHA. Um, and then we have the second level of MacWIC where students are able to run CNC machines, be able to program them, and do quality control. So when students graduate, they can take the OSHA 10 card and use it anywhere they go, at any employee. So if they are taking a part-time job, they can use the OSHA card, you know, working at a local Dunkin' Donuts. But also they can use that card in a manufacturing job. That is like, gives you a leg up on your uh, resume. If a student is graduating from uh, Gardner High, they'll have the OSHA 10 card, they'll have a certification in SOLIDWORKS, and the level one and two in manufacturing. And that definitely looks better on the resume in addition to everything else that they take here. Our capstone and internship experiences are awesome opportunities for our students uh, to take the knowledge and skills learned in the classroom and put it to the test uh, in different experiences. So for our capstone, it is taking all of the things learned in the years in the program, finding a problem in their field of study, whether that's related to business, manufacturing, et cetera, finding information, analyzing the information, and developing a project around their solution. For the internship experience, we work with our community partners, whether that's Haywood Hospital, Greylock, or even the school district, to give our students different real-world experiences for their skills and knowledge learned in the classroom. It is a great opportunity for our students to see roles and responsibilities in a completely different light, uh, and whether they even like the role that they were researching in the first place. No matter if it's the capstone or internship, it is a great opportunity for our students to be challenged, to build relationships with our community, have an appreciation for what they're doing, taking on some more responsibility as they do it, and striving for excellence overall in everything they do. So we're acting like we're going on Shark Tank. We're gonna be one of the people going on the Shark Tank and selling our product to the sharks. I picked the lotion, so the lotion, you put it on before your workout, and then the acne should not come up because most people's sweats cause the acne. I'm picking New York to target the area for because they have the most acne problems. So the population's very high, so my increase in uh, 
and profits will increase. And for employees, I'm gonna ask certain questions, what qualities they need, what they need to make the things, and I will supply that all for them. And for the shark tanks, I'm gonna tell them I have 200,000 in investments, and I need 10% of the equity for them, and then they're gonna tell me if they agree or not, and why they disagree, and what I should fix about my project.